Americans go out to eat an average of 4.9 times a week. 43% of those surveys would be happy to do away with tipping, even if it means higher menu prices. And 70% say they don't like backless stools. <laughs> backless stools? Do you guys have strong feelings on backless stools? I've never even thought about that at all. Although they do come in handy, not because the backless ones. Because you're tall. One. Oh. The short people, the backless <laughs> stools don't work. They're awful. They, they're these chairs, you see them at like a trendy bar where it's like a seat and then like yes. a little oh, yeah. lamp. And they don't like, provide a lot of cushions. No, you want to sit in a comfortable chair. You do. You're, you want to sit there for a while, enjoy your meal. Um, so I kind of love some of these things that, that they went through and that they talked about here. So first, I think that 4.9 times a week, a lot of these are looking at kind of bigger metropolitan areas. Sure. So like LA, New York, were talked about quite a bit. But, you know, just thinking about as me, a family, how often do you guys well, you know something? At first I was like 4.9 times a week, that's absolutely crazy. No, not us, not us. <laughs> and then Jason was like, well, what about the fast casual, the takeout? And suddenly I think we're bumping up there because yeah, of all the right. times we're trying to get to games or whatever. But I so feel like it it's a victory if we cook at home two dinners. You cooked last week. night? With, with both kids last. there. Yeah. Yes, all of you. I agree. I agree completely. And okay. There you how, go. Five times a week. <laughs> yes. how, how about this one? Who at this table has stopped someone from eating, so said, like, don't eat yet, so that they can take a picture? I mean, I, I haven't done that. Too. I know. I haven't done that. I was thinking about it. I was even thinking about the time you and I just went out to brunch recently. Yeah. I was like, I don't think I did that. No. no. Probably I, I stopped you from doing it yeah. so I could get the picture. No, I've stood I stood on did. chairs yeah. before. You stood on chairs. Well, like you nice stood on chairs. Good angle. Have, good yeah. food I'm angle. I'm sorry no. to my wife, Alyssa. I'm <laughs> so sorry. Derecha has some weird uh, eating habits when you go out. But, that's a, but you your know, pictures look great. That's James part of your job. But the coolest thing that I think happened when we went for a restaurant review, and this got brought up because 24% of people say that noise ruins their meal. And you look at that when you're reviewing a restaurant. What, what were you calibrating? We were, we were reviewing Italian eateries, mm -hmm. as, as I recall. I, I do reviews for Minnesota Monthly Magazine, yeah. for people who don't know. And there's an app that you can download on your phone called a decibel meter. Which I had no idea this existed. Well, I hate loud restaurants. And I get like you're the, not alone. the hipster spots want to have it buzzy and have yeah. that energy. But like I want to have a conversation. Right. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I thought this place, it felt loud. But then I did the decibel yeah. meter and it was like, eh, it's only loud. Loudish. Yeah. yeah. Loudish. Jason, but I'm with you. I'm also not a hipster. And I want, the rare times <laughs> that I go out to eat, I want to talk to the person I, I agree. agree. Yeah. Don't you hate that when you have to yell? Yeah. You feel like it's you have to word. yell. And, and you, like, you want to leave immediately. You don't yeah. want to stay for very no, long. You don't. Well, but some people like that. Maybe you don't want to listen to some the person. Some people you're do to. like that, yeah. <laughs> if you're, maybe you're in one of those marriages that you haven't yeah, had the you don't maybe confrontation Maybe you're, you're on Tinder and you're looking to chat with somebody new. That's right. Surveying your options. Yeah. All right.